Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we're going to talk about the best fragrances that I got in 2023 so far. Obviously, it's just right now it's April, but I'm not really sure when I'm going to post these videos. It might be actually May, uh, but yeah, we had four, five months of 2023. I discovered so many fragrances. I got so many perfumes. Uh, I've gotten here 12. That I'm like, you guys are amazing. And we're gonna have some affordable ones. We're gonna have some very expensive ones. We're gonna have a bit of everything. You know how I like it, a bit of everything. Um, Yeah, these are just amazing. Most of them are gourmands, guilty. You know what I like, but they're just stunning. They're just, like, you have to know, you need to know about them, okay? I have in here some perfumes that nobody talks about them and I'm like why just like why either I purchased them or they were sent to me people just don't talk about them and I'm like just why that these perfumes are way 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 better than other fragrances that are hyped up and they're just popular and they're just like okay -ish, but they have similar prices so I would definitely suggest getting those anyway 12 fragrances, like I said, we have in here that are just amazing. They stole my heart. Obviously, I'm going to discover more. Obviously, uh, when I went to Essence, I discovered more fragrances that are not actually released yet. So those probably are going to be like the best discoveries for the, yeah, the second part of uh, 2023. But yeah, uh, before we start, obviously, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Guys, I can see that 60% of you are not subscribed to my channel. Why? Just why? Please subscribe. Like it really, it really helps my channel. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. It's completely free. Just tick, you know. It's easy as that. I can see like sixty percent of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. Let me know in the comments down below why you're not subscribing. Let me know, please. Uh, but yeah, now let's jump in to the video. And um, I can't. I genuinely can't wait to tell you about all of this. I already talked about them. Like I already included them in hauls. I think it's just one that's like super, super new. But I'm like, you are amazing. So you need to be in this video. So anyway, um, like this video, subscribe, and now let's jump into the video. All right, I'm gonna start with the cheapest one that we have in here, but it definitely doesn't smell cheap. This is Creme de Pistache from Seventy Seven Cents. Uh, listen. This thing is getting popular. I've seen that it's out of stock. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, basically, me and I know Coco from Coco Pep, she, talk, she talked about this one as well. It's a small Etsy shop. If you're from the UK, if you're looking for a pistachio perfume, get this one. This is pistachio and coconut ice cream. It's delicious. It's amazing. It's extremely affordable. Get this one. I know there are the pistachio fragrances on the market. For me, this is the best one so far. Um, I, I can see that this one is getting popular. Give us credit, okay? Me and Coco, we talked about this one quite a lot. Give us credit. Don't say, oh, I discovered it. Give us credit, please. Um, yeah, love it. Creme de pistache. It, it's amazing. Literally, many people message me and they're like, Gabby, I got that fragrance because of you. And it's affordable. I was like, you know what? Let's try it. They actually have samples as well on their like Etsy page. And it's amazing. I was like, yep, I know. I know. It's incre incredible, especially for the price. So, 77 cents, uh, creme de pistache. Next. Uh, let's talk about... Ah, uh, let's talk about this one. Uh, meaningful work from Melek. Honestly, I never, ever, ever thought that I'm gonna be obsessed with a grapefruit perfume. It's just, it's delicious without being gourmand. It has, it almost has like a gourmand quality about it because it's super refreshing, but it's very creamy, more like, almost like buttery as well. I don't know, like I've seen people like re saying that this perfume leans a bit masculine. For me, it is not, like I'm getting this like, amazing creamy grapefruit normally i don't like eating grapefruit i don't like i don't know grapefruit juice or I, I don't like that flavor but in this it's not it's not bitter you know how grapefruit it's a bit like mm. in this one it's not necessarily sweet like sugary sweet but it has a sweetness and it has something very creamy almost buttery absolutely love it like i said i reviewed all of this if you want a more like 
um, detailed review, check the other videos. Melet perfumes, meaningful work, stunning, stunning fragrance for uh, the spring and summer. Next, we have, oh, Wonder, Wonder, I give up at this point, from Mave Made, Mav Made. This is a delicious, incredible, unique, gourmand that you need to know about. This is almond milk and lychee. You, you do not, you do not understand how good this thing smells. You, you, you do not understand. This is amazing. It's, I have no words. It was a blind buy for me. I like the notes. I was like, you know, what? let's. Try. It's stunning. It's everything. It's you need you need to try it. I know it's quite hard to uh, to find it. I got mine. I think from the official website. Um, it's a German brand. I'm not sure if I paid any taxes. I can't remember. Uh, but it's just that good. More people need to know about this perfume. Wunder, Wander, whatever from Mother Made. It's incredible incredible you need to try it so uh we had that one now let's move on let's move on oh let's move on to this one of the morsels from uh, zaharov and the fragrance in collaboration with andrea from curly Sands. i actually met her at the suns she's so nice she's lovely actually like honestly i know she had like a big big channel like what she has like 200 something thousand subscribers i thought people that have that many subscribers suddenly be like, be like mm, sassy you know she was not like she was the sweetest person ever and i told her i got your fragrance and i love it i reviewed it, it i absolutely love it it's it's such a unique gourmand like i'm smelling so many things in the same time i'm smelling coconut i'm smelling something boozy i'm smelling something sweet i'm smelling the fig i'm it's it's hard to explain it's just stunning watch my um my review for this perfume because it has so many notes and somehow you can smell all of them it's an incredible all year round i can definitely see myself following this one like fall winter i can definitely see myself following this one um during the night time maybe spring summer it's incredible honestly she did an amazing amazing job with this one so zaharov of the immortals one of the best best discoveries of this year at least for me uh next we have let me talk about this one because i said summer dolce melodia from sospiro i really really like that herba pura dna i do have lots of fragrances from different brands that have um a similar dna this one has a similar dna obviously it's from sospiro sospiro has herba pura but dolce melodia is just i don't know it's it's just something so captivating about it it has that fruitiness but it's a bit more flirty and it's just a bit more rounded and a bit more feminine if you ask me it's just so good like can't really see but I'm like i'm here with my juice and this one was full like it goes sh like that and i'm like around here it's such a good spring summer fragrance and so far what i've tested from suspiro they really really last on my skin so yeah dolce melodia from suspiro uh next we have oh. i know i got this one at the suns but it's just and i have another one that i got at the suns but it's just that good bomb bomb pop from the house of food you do not understand the compliments that i got with this fragrance i personally love it uh, for me this is peach like a fluffy peach with lots of brown sugar you're getting something i feel like bergamot or something like that like citrusy in the opening but then you're left with this like sugary peach the compliments I wore this one three times already, which I don't necessarily do that. Like I got so many other fragrances, I have to test them, blah, 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 all of that. I do not wear a fragrance in a week, three times ever, but I did do this one because it's just that good. And like people love it. Every single time when I wore this one, I didn't get like, oh, you smell nice. I got the, you smell incredible. What is that? And I'm like, 
bum 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 from the house of food it's is that good love it love it love it uh yeah you need to try it it's one of the newest release from the crazy collection amazing amazing spring summer grumant uh next we have let's talk about mm, the other one that i got at the sun's nocturna i know it's expensive but i've never smelled a more opulent sophisticated sexy perfume in my life some fragrances are sexy some fragrances are very i don't know luxurious some fragrances are a bit are like elegant this one has everything in it it's a floral vanilla with ambery fragrance very hard to describe because all of the notes are just so well blended but it's just I have no words like it's one of, like, when it comes to floral perfumes i normally like like the white floral perfumes or like like a rose like a vanilla rose combo other floral perfumes are not necessary for me but this one it's just it's, it's just magical it's just it's just something about it that smells so expensive it is expensive but it does smell so expensive and sensual and sexy and elegant in the it's most mysterious I, I don't know how to explain it if you can if you, if you want a royal crown if you want a luxurious perfume in your collection i will check this one out honestly i'll check this one because it's it's stunning it's absolutely stunning don't blind buy it's expensive get yourself a sample first go and test it uh, but let's give it a give it a try if you want something luxurious in your collection give it a try because it's absolutely amazing nocturna from royal crown next we have let's talk about ah let's talk about something new um sugar leather from uno Nomad. i actually tested this one and they have another new release uh, at essence and the other one i like it i generally like it but i i don't think i would wear that because it's very floral it's very feminine it's very innocent um it kind of smells like a wedding perfume like if you're a bride you want to smell like that and i don't because i don't i just it's just not my thing like that type of purity and just like super feminine elegant clean i'm not that but when i smell sugar leather so i smell we smell the first one first the first one first yeah um, and there were people that like, oh my god, it's amazing. I was like, this is nice. Like, I like it, but I don't see myself wearing it. And then they gave us to test sugar leather. And I was like, this is definitely me. Don't be afraid. I'm going to do a full review of, uh, for this one, okay? But don't be afraid of the leather. It's, for me, it's mainly cinnamon. Sweet, sweet, sweet cinnamon with brown sugar. You're definitely getting something else, like something almost like boozy and syrupy and then you're getting a little bit of leather don't be afraid it's it's amazing you need to like cinnamon like this is definitely a cinnamon bomb it's definitely it, it is powerful and i love it like can you see how much i already use this one and i got it like what last week i love it very good very good discovery uh that two more perfumes are coming out but they're coming out at the end of the year so that's why i'm not mentioning them here but for this like uh january may period of time this is an amazing amazing new release and new discovery for me as well sugar leather from uni nomad uh let's talk about ah uh, i have a rose it's not just rose actually sol from music de parfum the notes the notes don't make justice justice to this fragrance. This has it has some oud, but it's not strong. It has some jasmine, it has some rose, it has some vanilla, it has some amber, it has other notes. For me, it has a bit of patchouli. For me, I'm getting rose for sure, like a sweet rose. Maybe some other floral notes. And then that whole vanilla... And like vanilla with a bit of patchouli with amber and getting more like this like honeyed 
rose honey the rose with a little bit just a little bit of patchouli you know with patchouli i'm not like the biggest fan like the keali one i kind of like it in the dry down but the opening is just too much patchouli um the royal vanilla sugar patchouli i have that one and it's just too much patchouli this one is just the perfect amount of patchouli you're definitely getting the vanilla but it's so syrupy and so it feels like honey and then with uh from the floral like the florals that you're smelling you're definitely smelling the rose and maybe a bit of jasmine as well it's such a beautiful sexy like floral vanilla but mainly like vanilla like sweet vanilla okay fragrance it's it's amazing it's a brand that nobody talks about i don't know about them um i just got some this bottle and i was like okay fine let's try it don't know something like okay -ish. and then when i put it on my skin i was like this is amazing absolutely love it uh they have other two that i'm really really interested in uh they sound like amazing but yeah this one it's such such an underrated perfume and it's such a, a good one music de parfum soul um uh, what else do we have okay three left immortal i love this ring uh from manos yerakinis immortal is i I love it. It's a gourmand. It's very sweet. It has immortel. It does have vanilla. I think it has some milk as well. Almost smells like, I don't know, condensed milk with brown sugar and like super sticky and syrupy i told you in the past when i reviewed this one i'm obsessed with boba tea and they have the brown sugar boba tea not necessarily like the bobas inside but like that brown sugar syrup that they put in that boba tea it really really reminds me of that and then obviously you have some immortel as well so it's not just pure sugar but it's, it has a milk like condensed milk with the brown sugar it's delicious it's absolutely delicious it was a blind buy for me and I, as soon as i sprayed i was like yes 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 i love it uh immortal from manos irakinis amazing perfume uh two more another sweet gorgeous gourmand mystic sugar from coreterno mystic sugar is this i know it kind of reminds me slightly of black phantom from killian but it's definitely way more se it's like sexy like flirty it's like sugary it's not sugary sweet but it's way sweeter it's way more gourmand i know that has some fruits as well i think it's pineapple i'm not really getting the fruits getting like sweet like a bit of like amber i don't know just like sweet goodness i love it i love it um opening it's a bit harsh but just a little bit not in terms of not well blended it's just a bit like dirty like it has something like that and then it goes away i, I don't mind it i actually like that opening i know i saw some people saying that the opening is a bit too much for them it has something a bit dirty in it you know um but like in a good way i like it i do really like it honestly like I was scared it was again a blind buy i was scared because i saw so many mixed reviews but i really really like it mystic sugar from coreterno and then the last one and a vanilla that nobody ever ever talked about this one nobody knows about it cuts and vanilla from rue madame is that good is this sugary I know it says cotton vanilla, you might think, oh, more like a soft vanilla. No, 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 nope. Is this, I know how to explain, like sugary vanilla with some like fruits almost. It kind of means like a pink macaron or like a pink, pink cupcake or it smells like something pink. It smells like a pink dessert. But without being... I know artificial or anything like that. It smells like a pink dessert. 
it's delicious it's incredible i i have right now in my collection basically every single vanilla that's on the market and this is top three for sure it's top three for sure it's it's so yummy it definitely has something like i don't know pink cupcake pink macaron pink something I know it has some fruity notes, but I can't detect, I can't tell exactly what fruit it, fruit it's in here. But it's definitely not just a plain vanilla. It's definitely not like a musky vanilla. It's like a sugary sweet vanilla. A little, it's something powdery, more like powdered sugar maybe, like sugary vanilla with powdered sugar and then some like fruity notes. Beautiful, beautiful, incredible fragrance. Love it. Cotton vanilla from Rumadam. Uh, it's our last fragrance and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below uh, what fragrances you've discovered so far in 2023 uh, let me know in the comments down below obviously if you tested any of these if you like them if you don't and all of that and yeah that was it for today thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget with a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always and i'll see you in my next one Bye bye